would you differentiate between equity and equality? Well, equality, we talk about, uh, I don't know what the answer to that is. Equity. I think most people think it's just another word for equality, which it isn't. And that's what makes it so nefarious. Why did talk about equality suddenly get replaced with equity? And what exactly is equity? I'm going to address those questions after I show you a clip from Bill Maher show last night, where he actually calls Bernie Sanders out for this and asks him to define the difference between equality and equity, which he apparently can't do. You really just have to see this to believe it after you check out this free coin offer from Noble Gold. Silver's appeal lies in its rarity and aesthetic worth, but its importance in today's economy and technology may surprise you. Silver is used in a wide variety of technological devices and renewable energy sources, like solar panels. That's why securing your financial future with a silver IRA from Noble Gold Investments is such a brilliant idea. This month, every qualifying IRA of $20,000 or higher comes with a magnificent Silver Eagle Bull on coin. Visit noblegoldinvestments.com to learn more and make sure to let them know Drone Tech sent you. You can't go wrong with Noble Gold Investments. And remember, there's always risk in investment and there are no guarantees of any kind. This word equity has come into the language in the last few years and before that we didn't hear it. Is Bernie Sanders okay? Does he need some water or something? What am I? This word equity has come into the language in the last few years, and before that we didn't hear it a lot. And I think a lot of people hear equity and they hear equality, that like it's the same word. And it's not the same word in the same concept. So how would you differentiate between equity and equality? Well, equality, we talk about, uh, I don't know what the answer to that is. <laughs> come to think of it, you know, uh, equality is equality of opportunity. All right? We live in a society we want all people right. to have whatever color your skin is. Equity, I think, is more guarantee of outcome. Is it not? I yeah, think, I think so. I think that's okay. Fine. So, which do you come? Which side do you come down on? Uh, we, equality. Equality. Uh, yeah. Okay. Right. I just love the nervous laughter from the crowd because they're thinking exactly the same thing that we're all thinking. Bernie Sanders, of all people, should know the answer to this. In equity, the government decides outcomes. So if you're part of a group that the people in charge of the government find undesirable, well, then you're going to be put at a disadvantage to other groups which they think need extra help. How could he not know that? Or is it just that everywhere else that Bernie Sanders goes, nobody ever asks him that question? And he he wasn't prepared to answer it honestly in front of this crowd and then openly support it. Notice the silence from the crowd there at the end. So which do you come which side do you come down on? Uh, we, equality. Equality. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. That's because all they've been hearing from the Democrats, the media, Hollywood, and all of our institutions is that we should be striving for equity. Vice President Camilla Horace has been very open about the Biden administration's agenda to push equity instead of equality. He's talking about equitable, meaning at the result will be everyone ends up being equal. Equity, which is everyone should end up in the same place. It has to be about a goal of saying everybody should end up in the same place. And if we want people to be in an equal place, sometimes we have to take into account those disparities. Um, President Biden and I have put equity at the center of all that we do. No, equality does not and has never meant that everybody gets the same things, only the same opportunity. No, we're not all supposed to end up in the same place. And no, the government should not be separating people based on skin color, gender, or any other intrinsic qualities, and then manufacture outcomes, picking the winners and losers based on some hierarchy of oppression that they come up with. If that sounds like communism to you, that's because it is. Part of today's woke revolution, you need to study the part of revolutions where they spin out of control because the revolutionaries get so drunk on their own purifying elixir, they imagine they can reinvent the very nature of human beings. The problem with communism and with some very recent ideologies here at home is that they think you can change reality by screaming at it. 
that you can bend human nature by holding your breath. But that's the difference between reality and your mommy. Yesterday I asked ChatGPT, are there any similarities between today's woke revolution and Chairman Mao's cultural revolution of the 1960s? And it wrote back, how long do you have? Ordered his citizens to throw off the four olds. Old thinking, old culture, old customs, and old habits. So, um, your whole life went in the garbage overnight. No biggie. And those who resisted were attacked by an army of purifiers called the Red Guard who went around the country putting dunce caps on people. Yeah, who didn't take to being a new kind of mortal being. A lot of pointing and shaming went on. Oh, and about a million dead. You're right again. I'm amazed that Bill Maher is actually the one bringing this into the mainstream. And I think that's largely based on the work that's been done by James Lindsay and Chris Rufo in particular, who have really exposed that the so-called DEI trainings, critical race theory and gender theory, which are all being injected into all of our institutions, has its roots in radical far left Marxism and communism. I talked about this many times in past videos, but you really can draw many parallels parallels between the so-called woke movement in America and the Maoist Red Revolution in China. People like Chinese activist Aweiwei have come out and warned about this before, and now even Bill Maher has caught on. The reason it seems like a cult is taking hold all around us is because it is. Whether this is a homegrown communist revolution or it's been fomented through ideological subversion by our enemies, it doesn't really matter because at this point it's deeply entrenched in all of our institutions. The fact is, equity is a tenet of communism and anti-American. All right, folks, that's all I have for that one. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button, share, subscribe, and continue the discussion in the comments. Thanks a lot. I'll see you all in the next one.